Alright guys, so I was asked to do a pikeman kiting tutorial. Uh, excuse my friend in the background, he's just kind of... Just turn him down for me. Okay, so... Start off, like, same with the archer. Grab your ammo, since pikeman is extremely limited in ammo, unlike the archer. You're gonna, you're gonna always want to go to the headshots, but... With pikeman, I've noticed... You need to aim slightly to the left to hit the headshot. See, I'm aiming slightly to the left of him to actually hit the headshot. Uh, something different with pikemen than archer is when you have a pikeman, you can hit through their shields. So always aim for the head regardless of like the enemy type because it'll just puncture right through their shield and hit them in the face. And it will kill them a lot quicker and make killing your teammates a lot easier. Same thing with archer. When you get hit, jump and kite them quick just like I did. And you always just want to find your, find the easiest way to kite them. So here it would be instead of going around in a full circle to run into the enemies, you'd run out, out into their spawn and try and get them as best you can before the next wave comes. Keep in mind, I am not a proficient pikeman. I'm not that good. You don't want to, you're gonna want to talk to someone like say Click. He's a really good pikeman, or Sergeant Q he's a really good pikeman as well so if you want more information maybe some more tips that I didn't answer make sure you go talk to them they'll probably give you some some good advice but this is what I'm here to show you so always hit their head and you can puncture through their, through their shields and with these guys if they get a little bit too close jump and put a spear in like the top of their head I have an example of, of that in the later later waves of this kite. Also, you know, all all throwing weapons have a uh, melee mode. If you press, I think it's X for the standard, you can change it to anything you want. I have mine set to a mouse button. Uh, if you ever get in trouble, just tap that, and you can fight them. Generally, you won't want to swing unless you have pelums. Pelums are really good with swinging, but things like CTS or Jared's, you're going to want to poke them. Well, CTS are going to want to poke them. Jared's, you're probably going to want to swing. But, you know, with, with Pikeman, one of the advantages is you can run and shoot at the same time accurately. So, you definitely want to you're definitely going to want to take advantage of that. It's really, really good tactic. Try and make your, your throws quick unless you get really far, because they'll catch right up to you and hit you, basically. See there, I tried... I tried to hit him in the foot, but he was just a little bit too close, and he got me. But that's sort of the idea that I have found is a really good idea when you're in a little bit of trouble. Like, see this one here? I jumped, put a spear right on top of his head, and then you give an extra spear right into his body because he got stunned, and you have the time to do it now. Really, really good tactic to stay alive when you're kiting. It's probably the best one. Other than, you know, throw accurately and all that. Same deal applies with, with dodging axes. You know, zoom in. Watch for the ones that are throwing and move out the way to make sure you don't get hit. Easy as that. For, the, for all like fighting ever with any weapon, even melee. You don't want to know, like you don't want to know your weapons for sure because I know for me, three C three pelums to the head kills him, the vanguard commander, and one to the head for pretty much everybody else. With an archer, it takes four to the head for me. Uh, so, and I have a warden with a fiendish and ebony arrows, so that's the type of damage it'll take. With a war bow, probably take around six. So you definitely want to know your stats and how fast your bow is. Get comfortable, 
you get comfortable with your weapons, you know. Definitely going to want to get good at moving and shooting with your pikemen. Just like I do here, I'm circling around them at the same time to prevent getting hit. And I'm using this tree here as cover. I, I know there's two behind there. I didn't want to get hit, so I used the tree as cover. Use, use everything as cover if you can. Like even corners of buildings, just anything. Because an axe will come out of nowhere and hit you in your face, and that's just no fun. Like what happened to me there earlier. Right here we are we're nearing the end of the video. Make sure you want to know make sure you know that with which bots are faster and all that. So the Eastern Adventures, they run really fast. They can definitely hit you twice before you can get away, and by then you're probably going to be dead, especially if you're an archer. So, yeah, you want to identify your bots as well. See how I jumped there? I dodged his attack. If I hadn't jumped, he would hit me in the back one more time, killing me because my health is already really low. But then also, when you're throwing, just, just, just don't stop moving. Basically, unless you're really trying to get that that unless you're unless you're really trying to get that hit. Anyway, I think that is all that I know about pikeman kiting. So use it to the best of your advantage. Get those loots and ouch, I'm dead. <laughs>